In Symmetry Mill, the control path is simply a gadget for selecting your motif in the source image window. Whatever area is defined by the control path gets repeated over and over to make the final pattern. Depending on the type of symmetry, the control path can be a rectangle, a parallelogram, a triangle, or a kite. If you modify the control path, Symmetry Mill immediately updates the pattern for you. For some symmetries, the shape of the control path is fixed, and you can only scale the control path, like here. For some types of symmetry, you can make the control path taller, or wider, and for others still, you can shear the control path and make brick, or drop repeats. But for all symmetries, the shape of the control path gives you an idea of how the motif gets repeated. In this case, for the simple shift symmetry, the vertically skewed rectangle tells you that the motif gets repeated with a vertical drop. You can get a better idea of how the motif is repeating by clicking Show Symmetry Lines in the Parameters panel. That option is especially useful when the boundaries are smoothed away using the blend sliders. Look here. I am blending the motifs now, horizontally and vertically, but I can still see how the pattern is organized by having the symmetry lines visible. So that's how it works! You select a part of your image with the control path and Symmetry Mill dynamically turns it into a pattern.